The Norwegian Sea is a marginal sea in the North Atlantic Ocean, northwest of Norway. It is located between the North Sea and the Greenland Sea and adjoins the North Atlantic Ocean to the west and the Barents Sea to the northeast. In the southwest, it is separated from the Atlantic Ocean by a submarine ridge running between Iceland and the Faroe Islands. To the north, the Jan Mayen Ridge separates it from the Greenland Sea. Unlike many other seas, most of the bottom of the Norwegian Sea is not part of a continental shelf and therefore lies at a great depth of about 2 km on average. Rich deposits of oil and natural gas are found under the sea bottom and are being explored commercially. In the areas with sea depths of up to about 1 km, the coastal zones are rich in fish that visit the Norwegian Sea from the North Atlantic or from the Barents Sea for spawning. The warm North Atlantic current ensures relatively stable and high water temperatures, so that unlike the Arctic seas, the Norwegian Sea is ice-free throughout the year. Recent research has concluded that the large volume of water in the Norwegian Sea with its large heat absorption capacity is more important as a source of Norway's mild winters than the Gulf Stream in its extensions. Extent the International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Norwegian Sea as follows. On the northeast, a line joining the southernmost point of West Spitsbergen, Sik to North Cape of Bear Island, through this island to Cape Bull and thence on to North Cape in Norway. On the southeast, the west coast of Norway between North Cape and Cape Stat. On the south, from a point on the west coast of Norway in latitude 61 degrees 00 north along this parallel to longitude 0 degrees 53 west thence aligned to the knee extreme of Fuglo and on to the east extreme of Gerpia in Iceland. On the west, the southeastern limit of Greenland Sea, a line joining the southernmost point of West Spitsbergen, sick to the northern point of Jan Mayen Island down the west coast of that island to its southern extreme, thence aligned to the eastern extreme of Gerpia in Iceland. Formation and Geography The Norwegian Sea was formed about 250 million years ago, when the Eurasian Plate of Norway and the North American Plate, including Greenland, started to move apart. The existing narrow shelf sea between Norway and Greenland began to widen and deepen. The present continental slope in the Norwegian Sea marks the border between Norway and Greenland as it stood approximately 250 million years ago. In the north it extends east from Svalbard and on the southwest between Britain and the Faroes. This continental slope contains rich fishing grounds and numerous coral reefs. Settling of the shelf after the separation of the continents has resulted in landslides such as the Storegger slide about 8,000 years ago that induced a major tsunami. The coasts of the Norwegian Sea were shaped during the last ice age. Large glaciers several kilometers high pushed into the land, forming fjords, removing the crust into the sea, and thereby extending the continental slopes. This is particularly clear off the Norwegian coast along Helgeland and north to the Low Fortan Islands. The Norwegian continental shelf is between 40 and 200 kilometers wide, and has a different shape from the shelves in the North Sea and Barents Sea. It contains numerous trenches and irregular peaks, which usually have an amplitude of less than 100 meters, but can reach up to 400 meters. They are covered with a mixture of gravel, sand, and mud, and the trenches are used by fish as spawning grounds. Deeper into the sea, there are two deep basins separated by a low ridge between the Voring Plateau and Jan Mayen Island. The southern basin is larger and deeper, with large areas between 3,500 and 4,000 meters deep. The northern basin is shallower or at 3,200 minus 3,300 meters but contains many individual sites going down to 3,500 meters. Submarine thresholds and continental slopes mark the borders of these basins with the adjacent seas. To the south lies the European continental shelf and the North Sea. To the east is the Eurasian continental shelf with the Barents Sea. To the west, the Scotland-Greenland ridge separates the Norwegian Sea from the North Atlantic. 
This ridge is on average only 500 meters deep, only in a few places reaching the depth of 850 meters. Hydrology Four major water masses originating in the Atlantic and Arctic Oceans meet in the Norwegian Sea, and the associated currents are of fundamental importance for the global climate. The warm, salty North Atlantic current flows in from the Atlantic Ocean, and the colder and less saline Norwegian current originates in the North Sea. The so-called East Iceland current transports cold water south from the Norwegian Sea toward Iceland and then east. Along the Arctic Circle, this current occurs in the middle water layer. Deep water flows into the Norwegian Sea from the Greenland Sea. The tides in the sea are semi-diurnal, that is, they rise twice a day, to a height of about 3.3 meters. Surface currents The hydrology of the upper water layers is largely determined by the flow from the North Atlantic. It reaches a speed of 10 severts and its maximum depth is 700 meters at the low 14 islands, but normally it is within 500 meters. Part of it comes through the Faroe-Shetland Channel and has a comparatively high salinity of. This current originates in the North Atlantic Current and passes along the European continental slope. Increased evaporation due to the warm European climate results in the elevated salinity. The flow shows strong seasonal variations and can be twice as high in winter as in summer, while at the Faroe-Shetland Channel it has a temperature of about 9.5 degrees Celsius, it cools to about 5 degrees Celsius at Svalbard and releases this energy to the environment. The current flowing from the North Sea originates in the Baltic Sea and thus collects most of the drainage from Northern Europe. This contribution is However relatively small, the temperature and salinity of this current show strong seasonal and annual fluctuations. Long-term measurements within the top 50 meters near the coast show a maximum temperature of 11.2 degrees Celsius at the 63 degrees north parallel in September and a minimum of 3.9 degrees Celsius at the North Cape in March. The salinity varies between 34.3 in and is lowest in spring owing to the inflow of melted snow from rivers. The largest rivers discharging into the sea are Namsen, Ran Elva and Vefsna. They are all relatively short but have a high discharge rate owing to their steep mountainous nature. A portion of the warm surface water flows directly within the West Spitsbergen current from the Atlantic Ocean off the Greenland Sea to the Arctic Ocean. This current has a speed of 3 to 5 siverts and has a large impact on the climate. Other surface water flows along the Norwegian coast in the direction of the Barents Sea. Arctic water from the East Iceland current is mostly found in the southwestern part of the sea, near Greenland. Its properties also show significant annual fluctuations, with long-term average temperature being below 3 degrees Celsius and salinity between 34.7 and the fraction of this water on the sea surface depends on the strength of the current, which in turn depends on the pressure difference between the Icelandic low and Azores high. The larger the difference, the stronger the current. Deep sea currents The Norwegian Sea is connected with the Greenland Sea and the Arctic Ocean by the 2,600 meter deep Fram Strait. The Norwegian Sea deep water occurs at depths exceeding 2,000 meters. This homogeneous layer with a salinity of experience is little exchange with the adjacent seas. Its temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius and drops to minus 1 degree Celsius at the ocean floor. Compared with the deep waters of the surrounding seas, NSDW has more nutrients but less oxygen and is relatively old. The weak deep water exchange with the Atlantic Ocean is due to the small depth of the relatively flat Greenland-Scotland ridge between Scotland and Greenland, an offshoot of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Only four areas of the Greenland-Scotland Ridge are deeper than 500 meters. The Faroe Bank Channel, some parts of the Iceland Faroe Ridge, the Wyville Thomson Ridge, and areas between Greenland and the Denmark Strait. This is much shallower than the Norwegian Sea. Cold deep water flows into the Atlantic through various channels. 
about 1.9 civets through the Faroe Bank Channel, 1.1 civets through the Iceland Faroe Channel, and 0.1 civets via the Wyville Thomson Ridge. The turbulence that occurs when the deep water falls behind the Greenland-Scotland Ridge into the deep Atlantic Basin mixes the adjacent water layers and forms the North Atlantic deep water, one of two major deep sea currents providing the deep ocean with oxygen. Climate The thermohaline circulation affects the climate in the Norwegian Sea, and the regional climate can significantly deviate from average. There is also a difference of about 10 degrees Celsius between the sea and the coastline. Temperatures rose between 1920 and 1960, and the frequency of storms decreased in this period. The storminess was relatively high between 1880 and 1910, decreased significantly in 1910 to 1960, and then recovered to the original level. In contrast to the Greenland Sea and Arctic Seas, the Norwegian Sea is ice-free year-round, owing to its warm currents. The convection between the relatively warm water and cold air in the winter plays an important role in the Arctic climate. The 10-degree July isotherm runs through the northern boundary of the Norwegian Sea and is often taken as the southern boundary of the Arctic. In winter, the Norwegian Sea generally has the lowest air pressure in the entire Arctic and where most Icelandic low depressions form. The water temperature in most parts of the sea is 2 to 7 degrees Celsius in February and 8 to 12 degrees Celsius in August. Flora and Fauna The Norwegian Sea is a transition zone between boreal and arctic conditions, and thus contains flora and fauna characteristic of both climatic regions. The southern limit of many arctic species runs through the North Cape, Iceland, and the center of the Norwegian Sea, while the northern limit of boreal species lies near the borders of the Greenland Sea with the Norwegian Sea and Barents Sea, that is, these areas overlap. Some species like the scallop Clamis islandica and capellan tend to occupy this area between the Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Plankton and sea bottom organisms Most of the aquatic life in the Norwegian Sea is concentrated in the upper layers. The blooming of the phytoplankton is dominated by chlorophyll and peaks around the 20th of May. The major phytoplankton forms are diatoms, in particular the genus Thalassiosira and Chaetoceros. After the spring bloom the haptophytes of the genus Fecocystis poucha T become dominant. Hyperiodi, shrimp Pandalus borealis, Lophelia pachusa, Meganecti fanes norvegica, Zooplankton is mostly represented by the copepods Calanus finmarchicus and Calanus hyperboreus, where the former occurs about four times more often than the latter and is mostly found in the Atlantic streams, whereas C. hyperboreus dominates the Arctic waters, they are the main diet of most marine predators. The most important krill species are Meganectifanes norvegica, Tursano essa inermus, and Tursano essa longicordata. In contrast to the Greenland Sea, there is a significant presence of calcareous plankton in the Norwegian Sea. Plankton production strongly fluctuates between years. For example, Finn Marshika's yield was 28 grams per square meter in 1995 and only 8 grams per square meter in 1997. This correspondingly affected the population of all its predators. Shrimp of the species Pandalus borealis play an important role in the diet of fish, particularly cod and blue whiting, and mostly occur at depths between 200 and 300 meters. A special feature of the Norwegian Sea is extensive coral reefs of Lophelia pachusa, which provide shelter to various fish species. Although these corals are widespread in many peripheral areas of the North Atlantic, they never reach such amounts and concentrations as at the Norwegian continental slopes. However, they are at risk due to increasing trawling, which mechanically destroys the coral reefs. Fish The Norwegian coastal waters are the most important spawning ground of the herring populations of the North Atlantic, and the hatching occurs in March. The eggs float to the surface and are washed off the coast by the northward current. 
whereas a small herring population remains in the fjords and along the northern Norwegian coast, the majority spends the summer in the Barents Sea, where it feeds on the rich plankton. Upon reaching puberty, herring returns to the Norwegian Sea. The herring stock varies greatly between years. It increased in the 1920s owing to the milder climate and then collapsed in the following decades until 1970. The decrease was, however, at least partly caused by overfishing. The biomass of young hatched herring declined from 11 million tons in 1956 to almost zero in 1970. That affected the ecosystem not only of the Norwegian Sea but also of the Barents Sea. Enforcement of environmental and fishing regulations has resulted in partial recovery of the herring populations since 1987. This recovery was accompanied by a decline of capellan and cod stocks. While the capellan benefited from the reduced fishing, the temperature rise in the 1980s and competition for food with the herring resulted in a near disappearance of young capellan from the Norwegian Sea. Meanwhile, the elderly capellan population was quickly fished out. This also reduced the population of cod, a major predator of capellan, as the herring was still too small in numbers to replace the capellan in the cod's diet. Blue whiting has benefited from the decline of the herring and capellan stocks as it assumed the role of major predator of plankton. The blue whiting spawns near the British Isles. The sea currents carry their eggs to the Norwegian Sea, and the adults also swim there to benefit from the food supply. The young spend the summer and the winter until February in Norwegian coastal waters and then return to the warmer waters west of Scotland. The Norwegian Arctic cod mostly occurs in the Barents Sea and at the Svalbard archipelago. In the rest of the Norwegian Sea, it is found only during the reproduction season to the Low Forten Islands, whereas Polychius v. and Haddock spawn in the coastal waters. Mackerel is an important commercial fish. The coral reefs are populated by different species of the genus Sebastis. Mammals and birds Significant numbers of minka, humpback, sei, and orca whales are present in the Norwegian Sea, and white-beaked dolphins occur in the coastal waters. Orcas and some other whales visit the sea in the summer months for feeding. The population is closely related to the herring stocks and they follow the herring schools within the sea. With a total population of about 110,000, minke whales are by far the most common whales in the sea. They are hunted by Norway and Iceland, with a quota of about 1,000 per year in Norway. In contrast to the past, nowadays primarily their meat is consumed, rather than fat and oil. The bowhead whale used to be a major plankton predator, but it almost disappeared from the Norwegian Sea after intense whaling in the 19th century, and was temporarily extinct in the entire North Atlantic. Similarly, the blue whale used to form large groups between Jan Mayen and Spitsbergen, but is hardly present nowadays. Observations of northern bottlenose whales in the Norwegian Sea are rare. Other large animals of the sea are hooded and harp seals and squid. Important waterfowl species of the Norwegian Sea are puffin, kittiwake, and guillemot. Puffins and guillemots also suffered from the collapse of the herring population, especially the puffins on the Low Forten Islands. The latter hardly had an alternative to herring and the population was approximately halved between 1969 and 1987.